Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. Sending me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today, and coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Supernova. So let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, into it, shall we? This is the Wolf Who Killed Templar. So this is gonna, this is very interesting. I'm very excited to see what kind of stuff forms from his perspective. So maybe a little bit more insight into why he did what he did. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Are your current measures not enough? She's looking at the tiger. So I was right. Heh, <laughs> not good enough for now. But they can't be everywhere. So though I met in an unpleasant encounter with that sentinel's fox not long ago, I'd like to deter that kind of action. You won't have to worry about that. The sentinels are going to be preoccupied, searching for me. Now that I'm about to tell him that, now let paranoia keep scum like him in check. If there's one thing the capes are good for, that would be it. I am more than capable of keeping my operation secure, I assure you. Norton rolls his eyes. Means you won't take no for an answer, not this easily. Still, I'm surprised at the Red Panda's continued refusal. Without having seen any of these weapons of his, I can tell the bull is serious. Maybe she really is that convinced she can stay out of trouble in beneath notice. Or maybe something else is at play here. A part of me wants to look into it. The part that isn't the part that just can't fucking let go. Norton, meanwhile, with that ever-present smile of his, takes his phone out. Bring the bring the big one up, boys. I think a demonstration is in order. God damn, he really is like a child itching to show off a new toy. The panda looks a little uh, the panda looks as unenthusiastic as I'm feeling. Our eyes meet. She takes a long drag of the cigarette before she turns her attention back to the bull. Norton is waste Norton is wasting my time. I have, a, I have to play along because he has the reach we need. Two of his men emerge from the, onto the rooftop, carrying a one carrying a ridiculous, well, I suppose I could call it a gun. Although it looks almost like it should be a barrel of a modern artillery cannon. Norton grabs it around the middle. The muscles on his arms strain with the effort, but he maintains his cheerful expression. Zal and I follow him to the center of the rooftop, where he takes aim at his target. The zebra squirms madly in his restraints, eyes crazed as his words are rendered incomprehensible by the piece of cloth in his mouth. He succeeds in toppling to the side, still bound to the chair. Norton lowers the gun. Set him up! The guard sets the chair upright again, even if the zebra continues jerking around. Don't worry, Earl. I'll make sure your family's taken care of. When one, tra when one traitor spawn running around, now would ooh. When one traitor spawn running around, now would we? With that, he takes aim again, and... The blast leaves a hole the size of two fists as the man's torso. The chair and the concrete railing behind the chair and the concrete railing behind him. Perfectly circular. The zebra shakes violently once and slumps forward. Ha! <laughs> we stand in silence as the bull hands the weapon back to his men. That's impractical. Norton chuckles. Oh I know! I just find this one fun. The rest are far more suited for everyday use. Everyday use. I could build a little turret up here like with this. What do you think? Shoot some capes out of the sky! That wouldn't go over well. Ha! I'm kidding. Loosen up, you two. Zao was still staring at the corpse, with slight distaste, I think. Shame about the damage to your building. The comment is met with more laughter from Norton. Ha! So, you want some of this? I'm offering a good deal, Lady Zao. No, I'm afraid my answer is going to stay the same. I feel very secure in my activities, Norton. But I appreciate your generosity. You can count on my, my support should you ever need it. Bah, if you say so. Can we talk about why I'm here? Hmm, ah, yes, of course. I raise my eyebrows as I look at Zal, and back at Norton. He either doesn't realize what I mean, or he doesn't take the hint. The panda isn't in a rush to leave, either. Fine, it's not like her knowing will affect anything. Anything new, then? As a matter of fact, yes. He retrieves a folded piece of paper from his pocket and hands it to me. At the map of the southeastern part of the city, with a block circled in red. It's here! Underground! My heart starts to beat faster. But I also found out there's a second facility! I look up at him sharply. Where? I don't know yet! Can you find out? Oh, excuse me. My con- My contacts are looking for it! I nod, fold the map up again, and put it in my belt pouch. I'll be back next week. I hope you hope you have the hope to have the info by then. Just know that they'll be on very high alert if you attack too soon. I can feel the pulse in my ears. The data we've been looking for—it has to be there. If not this lab, then the other one. 
as much as my fists are itching to pull his right. Can't miss the opportunity by acting too hasty. Fine. I'll wait until we have both locations. Atta boy! Calm now. Gotta keep my fists unclenched. Thanks. Huh. No need for any of that. What the damn thing's got as much as you do? No favors owed. Well, unless you end up taking my uh, taking my magical hall. Mm-hmm. I'll wait for your Martin's return. I point to the edge of the rooftop. Mind if I skip the elevator? Ha! Yeah, be my guest. I know I, but I'm but as I'm about to walk off, the red panda touches my arm softly. Can we have a word? I see my guest has intrigued you, Lady Zal. Certainly. Is it too much to presume? Not at all. He winks at her and strides over to the tiger instead. For someone who isn't in his employ, Norton is very open with you about his affairs, isn't he? He hopes I'll agree to work for him if I see how he runs his show. Is he wrong to have that hope? Yes. I see. May I suggest something? I happen to own a bathhouse. The White Lotus. You should pay a visit sometime. You feel like you could use some time to relax. I'm not looking for extra work. Nor am I offering. But I suspect I know what you're after. I might have something you will find interesting. And if not, you will have a pleasant evening of rest. What's your angle, Panda? I don't know what she could possibly have that would help me more than, that, more than what Norton is doing. She doesn't give me time to ask. Instead, she touches my arm again, smiling faintly, and walks over to the bowl. Damn, woman. Another nonsense keeping me here, I finally take off. It had been windy on top of the building, but it's even more unpleasant up here. Nova sprawls underneath, the trail of light stretching from the edge of the ocean to the hills to the, to the hills in the west, but they get lost in the dark. I hate this city. No, maybe I just hate the view from this vantage point. Then why am I up here? Why do I come back? The middle of the soldier tags is cold against my chest. You'd have liked the view, wouldn't you, Tommy? The thought fills me with anger. No, you wouldn't. You have hated as much as I do. You're never stupid, not like me. I'm stalling. I don't know why. Maybe because after this, there will be truly no turning back. No, it's a lie, too. There's always no turning back. I killed Templar, after all. We knew it would happen. She knew he wouldn't listen to us. And I'd be forced to fight him. We both did. And that's why it happened. Because just like me, she wanted to make sure she couldn't change her mind. I should have taken the damn bracelet. Maybe the new Templar will have the good sense to stay out of it. My dry laughter is lost in the wind. Yeah, right. The burner phone is buzzing. Let out a sigh, staring at the screen for several moments before I press the button. How did it go? I have one location. One... The bull says there are two facilities in the area. And he didn't have both? No, but he promised to deliver the other one soon. Well, fuck. I guess we wait now. Mm-hmm. Send me the details. I'll scout. We shouldn't attack yet. They'll have too much time to prepare for the second strike. I'm not gonna attack. You're the one picking fights. I can't suppress a growl. I didn't. Yeah, I know. Either way, we'll stick to the shadows and see what we're dealing with. Fine. I have something else that might help us. The bull said the Syndicate has some relic that amplifies magic. He sent, he sent someone to steal it away and agreed to give it to me. A relic? What kind? The gnome. Extends the range? Hmm. This could solve the problem, problems we've been having. I think Umbra might be a female. Okay, I think Umbra's a girl. Let me do this. It will solve a problem we've been having. One of many, and, and not the most pressing right now. Assuming we can even use it. Why not? Man, okay, imagine you gave you imagine I gave you a math problem in German. Could you solve it? I don't know. Maybe you could. You'll recognize the numerals. Maybe some words, but you'd still have to figure out what the problem is, and then come up with a solution. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Get the item and I'll see if it's any good. The magic talk The magic talk always flies over my head. Umbra knows it. But it doesn't matter, as long as the mat magic does what we need. My understanding is irrelevant. I'll go now. What's your rush? I have a date. What? With who? A bottle of vodka. Jacob. Uh, how's your arm? Still aches. Oh, sorry about that. I did what I could. I know. It doesn't matter. I can do my job. Your job right now is to lay low. Send me that location. I'll be in touch after I pay you a visit. Fine. I return the phone to my pocket and let myself drift through the empty air. They'll make it all work. It's the promise we made to ourselves. It won't be long now.
Why pick you in an impossible battle? What? My body is suddenly heavy. Thoughts become sluggish as my vision blurs. Am I falling? A voice I don't know is filled with my has filled my head, but I can barely understand what it's saying. Someone speak? Be this ambition. Love. No. It is anger. What? Fight then, my wolf. Let this be your gauntlet. Victory or defeat, it matters not. Only that you fight. The fog lifts. I'm... On another rooftop, staring down at the street. There's a lone car driving up the avenue, no people in sight. It's dark here, the light from the street lamps doesn't reach this high. Did something happen just now? I could swear I was just flying far above. I don't remember touching down. I have to expect Umber to jump out the wind of the shadows in that unnerving way of his. Umber's a guy, okay. He enjoys messing with my head far too much. But I'm certain there's nobody else here. Fuck, I'm losing it. No, that was a long time ago. I turn from the shadows and look back to the city. All that's left now is to finish what we started. To be continued, alright. Hmm. Let's see. No part right there. Okay. That is the interlude. Alright, so, wow, oh man. Alright, guys and gals, looks like we have a lot to look forward to in the future of this. Aw. Aw. Cute. Alright guys, so that has been a somewhat shorter video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying Supernova so far. Um, they've got a lot of a lot of plot threads that are kind of dangling in front of us right now. Um, I'm I'm very intrigued to see where this all goes. I, I want to know why he killed he killed Templar because he wouldn't go along with them. What are they trying to do? My guess is they might be trying to get rid of all the syndicates and the heroes at once, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. And who does that mysterious voice belong? Who does that mysterious voice belong to? That is another good question. Hmm. A lot of mysteries, guys. A lot of mysteries. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!